Who came up with the idea to turn you heel, and what was the process behind it? <clears throat> it it kind of was interesting because um, I didn't see it coming. Um, I remember Vince called me. I'm trying to remember what time or probably maybe a month before WrestleMania of that year, maybe February. And he called me up and he goes, <clears throat> I want to turn you heel. And I remember I said, well, I don't want to turn heel. <laughs> and because uh, I made, I was actually making a lot of money off my, uh, my royalties off uh, t-shirts and dolls and all the stuff they were selling. It's what a big, big cut in my income to give all that up and, and uh, turn heel. And I remember he called me, he said, he goes, give me five minutes and I'll talk you into it. And I was so dead against it. I said, okay, you got, I'll give you five minutes to talk me into it. And he, he, I was somewhere else, like on the other, this other part of America, I think it was in Texas or something. And he, I had to go to New Haven, uh, Connecticut, I believe is where it was. It might've been Springfield, Massachusetts, but, um, Anyway, he said, I'll meet you at the building. So Vince actually drove all the way up to the the venue where we were having a live show that night. And uh, and he met me in a little room, talked to me for five minutes and talked to me. <laughs> but he, 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 he said to me, he said, um, you're only going to be a heel in, uh, in America. He goes, he goes, I want you, I want you to stay, you're gonna be a baby face in Canada, you'll be a baby face everywhere else. Everywhere else, especially in Europe, was just one of my biggest concerns. I said I was I got that time, I think, and I don't know if anyone ever topped me, but I was probably the biggest star they ever had over here. And um I said, I don't really want to lose my European audience. And he said, We don't either. We're we were making a lot of money off your your merchandise and everything too. So you're only going to be a bad guy in the States. And he goes, everybody hates Americans. And he, he, <laughs> and he played up this whole thing and he goes, basically, you're going to be able to turn heel, but you're not going to, it's not going to affect your merchandising, your marketing and all that. You're still going to be, the, you're going to be basically a good guy, but you're just going to be a bad guy to Americans in America. And I thought, okay, I'll, I'll do it. And I remember thinking, oh, yeah, this is the most important thing he told me. He said, he named, he was, he gave me a list. This is the, this is what solved everything for both of us. He gave me this list. He goes, these are the guys you're going to work with if you're a baby face. <clears throat> and the list was pretty, pretty flat. Like it was um, Vader. And I remember Vader, Vader, Vader. Um, <laughs> and... <clears throat> I'd wrestle Vader so many times that uh, I didn't want to wrestle Vader anymore. But he, Vader was the big option. There was a handful of other wrestlers. And he, the ones that he named are ones I probably already wrestled enough times. So it was like, and then he had the heel. If I turned heel, here's all the guys you get to work with. And it was Undertaker, Sean, Steve Austin. It was such a better list. And I was like, that was really the deciding factor of that and the the, mar the merchandising aspect. Right. I remember it was like, as soon as I saw the list of, for the, the as a baby face and, uh, and seeing Vader at number one on the list was like, I'm in, you know. <laughs> wrestling Vader, I always like to say, was like kind of like wrestling a cement truck filled with barf. <laughs> it was really... Um, you know, Vader, oh, Leon, uh, as much as I liked Leon, he he never washed his gear much. And, <laughs> and it, you know, I learned that like, on the road, wrestlers can't wash their stuff, especially for a long series. And I always learned you take your gear out after your matches when you get to the hotel room and you hang it all over the lights on the, the lamps and stuff. And the heat from the lamps will dry it all out. And at least your stuff's dry the next day. But Leon, I can remember talking to the dress room the next day. His his stuff was still sopping wet with sweat. And he was tough to work with in that regard. And um, not to mention that his punches were like uh, totally real. <laughs> and so, I mean, I, I saw the invader as like my primary guy as a, as a baby face. And I was happy to turn heel.